All right, 24-ish hours later. Tiny dog, please sit down. Let's see what we got here. Stop. These are both still fully intact. Shoot. This is a tape bridge and it's still on there. There's a little bend then, but works pretty good. that was made out of a paper plate and some old wires out of Philip's new house <laughs> to catch the shavings so they wouldn't fall into the tank. Half of it's still in there. It, it softened wet. And, and fell in. What the hell did this thing float? Does your freaking gas tank have a current? <laughs> <laughs> How bad is this? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> I'd probably get roasted more for saying that. <laughs> We really should have thought that one through a little bit more, huh? We, yeah, we thought we did, but we didn't. Well, Remember that time we were like, oh, it's full of diesel, it's gonna ruin the tape. <laughs> and we didn't think, oh, that's also gonna ruin the paper. Yeah, in my defense, my half of the contraption performed flawlessly. Oh, no! Well, remember uh, a couple hours ago when you said you've never made a mistake ever? I know. <laughs> you said that? <laughs> Now we've both messed up one more thing than we had previously messed up. Which I don't is... know. Am I am I accountable for this? Yeah, you're accountable. <laughs> yes. It was a group we effort. Associated. You were there with the paper. <laughs> okay. We all know the properties of paper <laughs> equally. Us. Okay. Yeah, got tape measure, Grandma? What are you doing? Oh, we're just continuing with the install. We're cutting our losses. Okay. So when do I know the catastrophes happen when it doesn't suck up any gas? When you drive down the road and your bus stops. That really sucked. Okay. Need to go inside for a while. If we we're going outside, we have some fishing line. Why do you have a fishing line? For projects. Well, I have no trust in anything now. You can't blame people for that. Tell us in the comments how big of a deal is it that that plate and stuff is in there. Specifically, a piece of a paper plate and a little bit of painter's tape. Yes. How can we get it out? That's it. <laughs> Do that again. Reenaction of Tom's face. No. No, come on! You missed it! I don't want that one on film. <laughs> that's, just for, that's just for me. <laughs> okay, so just to catch everybody up, including myself, on what happened, where we're at. 
it was a little bit chaotic with the boys. Now there's a chunk of paper plate and a little bit of painter's tape swimming around in my fuel tank somewhere. I drove the 90-ish miles home without any issues. I don't know if that means anything or if it was just lucky and it, shit could hit the fan at any moment. No idea how bad of a problem this is, but definitely not great. Don't know what to do right now other than just keep on keeping on. If anybody has an easy fix to this, tell me what to do. But yeah, we got the fuel pickup thingy installed. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not totally forgetting something, which is entirely possible, the rest of it should be fairly simple. I just need to drop this guy into place, connect this fuel line, install the pump, and install the muffler, and mount everything, secure everything down there, hook it up to power, prime it, test it, and then it should be good. Okay, that was actually a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just gonna get to it. Okay, so fuel pump pointed 45 degrees up. Fuel filter with the basket facing down. I think this is right. But it actually took quite a while because I had to keep pausing and going to Google stuff and like watch YouTube videos. Make sure I was doing everything right. Hopefully that means I did everything right. And also because I destroyed a couple of my hose clamps. I destroyed a couple of them so I had to go try to find some. It was impossible to find hose clamps that small pretty much. So I went to like four different stores, finally found something and then I was able to make it work I think. So. I think we're good to go down underneath. The only problem that I still have is that my exhaust pipe wasn't long enough to go out so that the exhaust is going out. It's still like under the bus so I need to order an extension piece for that because I couldn't find one of those in here in town either. But I can do that later. For now, I just need to hook up the electricity I think I should be able to make this work so oh that worked and then we have this cord gosh at least this is straightforward so far let's see oh come on buddy there we go this cord I don't know what this is supposed to go to actually okay so apparently this goes to the fuel pump which makes sense uh, I forgot about that so Oh shoot. Oh no. Am I gonna have to take this all apart? Wait, what? Ah! I don't wanna do that. That was 
unexpectedly sucky. I'm gonna take every single little piece off of this, string the wire through. I don't even know what I did to my pinky, but I'm getting blood on everything. At least the pieces fit together once I got under there. I was, the whole time I was doing this, the more and more trouble it was getting to be, I was like, oh, what am I gonna do if it's gonna turn out not to even be what I needed to do? But it was, it's done. Now I can move on. Okay, so what I am planning on doing, I just had a real win. I went to AutoZone. I called them before to see if they had a cigarette lighter thingy with nothing on the other end and they said they didn't. So I was just gonna go in there and look for like whatever the cheapest thing they had was and cut the other end off. And the first thing I found was exactly what I wanted. They did have it. So, victory. So this part should be easy-ish. It's just a matter of which wire goes to which. Oh, they're both black. Okay. Oh, it worked. It lit up. Okay. So now I think I need to prime the pump. So it already has fuel. There's already fuel from the tank to up to where the filter and the pump are because I sucked it out like this. That was supposed to be me sipping out of a straw, not doing drugs. Okay, let's see if this works. So I press down and power at the same time. That didn't work. How long do I have to hold it? Oh, I can see my breath. I need this to work. Under the shutdown state. How do I get it into shutdown state? Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. I am so confused. Press the up regulation, switch the temperature. These instructions are wrong or my thing is broken. In the non-setting state. What does it mean? Okay, so from doing a little digging and reading the Amazon reviews, Seems like there's like different models of the control thingy and some of them you need to click different buttons to do what it says in the instructions. So this guy had to, he had to press down arrow and settings. So let's try that. Oh, that's it. Oh, it worked. Oh, oh, it's pumping. I can hear it priming. So now I need to wait till I see it reach the heater. Taking a minute. Oh, there it is. Turn it off. And now, turn the heater on. Wait, why did it stop? What just happened? What in the world? I was so close! Plug it back in. I do not understand why it just suddenly stopped working. <sighs> okay. <sighs> so I came to a standstill last night because I thought the heater was about to kick on, finish line was right there, and then suddenly I just lost all power. Like even the screen wasn't working, I have no idea why, but it was too dark and too cold for me to do anything about it really. So, it's a new day. I just moved the bus like from on the street to into the driveway so that my extension cord could reach in here. That was such an ordeal. I'm. I'm not that good at parking this thing, it turns out, but I got it roughly where it needs to be, so. With no guidance this time. What's well, the first time we've done that with no guidance? Uh, so hopefully I'll get better at that as I go on, but I still don't know what's wrong, but I'm just gonna start trying to chip away at this problem until it is no longer a problem. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do, of course, is just <laughs> plugging this in again and hope it just magically starts working. DC out. It's not putting DC out right now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. 
DC out. Oh, so that just turned on. But why not this? I just don't really even know how to troubleshoot this. These look good. I don't know. The screen should be on. I don't understand. I'm wishing I just had a regular outlet on here, but I do not. I could probably drive to Walmart in the amount of time it's taken them to get to the phone. So I'm looking for something that you plug like a cigarette lighter, like car charger thing into and it plugs into a wall. Multitasking. I'm gonna see if this guy gets any power. Hi, do you guys have like a power adapter that um, you plug in like a cigarette lighter and then you plug it into the wall? Best Buy doesn't even sell it at all. I should have tried to find it online first. Okay, let's see if this guy works. Oh, turned off. Okay, it's giving this power. Oh, yep, I hear it going. Okay, so that's AC though, so maybe that's that's different, so okay. Maybe let me see if my phone will charge here. So it's giving this power. Maybe I should find something else that uses a car charger plug and see if it works. Maybe this plug! I want to try this in my car, but there's no way it's going to reach. Alright, I'm doing it. Cutting it off. I'm going to go see if it even, like, at least fits snugly into my car. Okay, I'm at Walmart. They let me return that other plug to AutoZone. Luckily, even though I already used it. Um, so I just bought this thingy. I'm going to make sure the plug part fits snugly. And then I'm just going to snip this part off and try to use this and see if that was the problem. Let's give this a try. Okay, update. As I was driving home from Walmart, I was doing a little mulling. And I think I figured out what's up just by using my brain. When I was returning that thing to AutoZone, the lady was saying, I was telling her like I didn't know what's wrong with it. And the lady was like, well, you might have blown a fuse. And I was like, is there a fuse in that thing? And she said, yes. And I didn't think anything of it because I didn't know what that means. But then I went to the Walmart, bought that thing, was driving back and looking at the specifications of it and could only handle like four or five amps or something. This thing, or not this thing, the heater only uses like is, is the verb use? Do you use amps? I don't know what it is. I'm just going to say use. Only uses like 3 amps normally, but when it's like firing up the heater, it uses 10 amps, is what I was reading in the product reviews online on Amazon. Which would make sense why right when I thought it was about to start up, it lost all power and why the screen didn't work or anything. That would be because I blew the fuse in the little connector thing and it no longer worked. Which makes sense. So I'm pretty sure that's what I did. So I'm not gonna use that thing from Walmart because it also isn't big enough, powerful enough, strong enough. What is it? It's not good enough. So I'm gonna return it. I called around and looked around online. And once again, you cannot get the thing that I actually need. So one, one that handles more amps, I can't get it in locally. So I ordered it on Amazon. But unfortunately, that means I'm going to have to admit defeat for now. It's not gonna be here for a couple days, so. Okay, so I thought I was going to have to end that video without resolving the problem, but since it ended up being so long and I split it into two parts, now I have time to do this last part. So it's a couple days later now, I just got this thing in the mail, so fingers crossed this is all I needed 
and this is about to work. So let's give it a try here. Okay. Oh yay! Oh, the screen just came on. Yay! Fuel is right there. Should be ready to go. So I think I just turn it on now. Oh my gosh, there's like drips of blood right here from the other night. It's blowing a little bit. Oh, I think I can hear the pump. Oh, here it goes. Oh, it's coming out this side. I put it backwards. I can't believe I put it backwards. <laughs> but it's working. Honestly, I might just leave it like this. It's really working. I'm so excited. Oh. All right. So eventually, when, once I get a little further along with everything, I'm gonna obviously like hardwire this into the bus is electrical system itself but for now so i can keep warm like while i'm working i'm just gonna keep plugging into this i'm sure you guys have seen these like little portable power stations before everybody has them but this one is a bull bat i think they're a new company they just released this thing i'll put a link if you want it it's been awesome i've been charging my camera battery out here so i don't have to run inside every time my battery dies i've been charging my phone out here and now it's powering this thing, and I thought for a second it wasn't working, but that was my bad. So, I'll put a link if you want one, and yeah, I'll clean up this, get the heater permanently put down, maybe flip it around the way it was supposed to go. Next, I think I'm going to start doing some work on the ceiling, so, okay, bye.